Boeing is in a balancing act. The Renton factory is still cranking out 737 MAX jets at the rate of 42 every month. And each of those jets that rolls out is allowed to be flown by Boeing pilots and parked these days in Moses Lake. We estimate nearly 300 have been built and are now parked from Seattle to Texas since the grounding on March 13th. Key takeaways from today's call include the 737 MAX grounding and ending it, dominating the company's focus. Boeing sticking with its expectation that the grounding will be lifted by year end. Even though the FAA and other global regulators still don't have everything they need to sign off on a fix. In an Everett, 787 rate cuts are coming, but more on that later. Boeing is a big company, the nation's leading aerospace firm with operations from coast to coast. How big a deal is the MAX nightmare? Not being able to deliver all those 737s has driven down airliner deliveries by nearly 70 percent. It's cut the company's overall profits in the last three months by more than half. But there is a silver lining. If the plane gets back in the air, Boeing promising to boost production to its previous goal of 57 jets per month by late next year. Inside Boeing's Everett factory, the world's biggest building, the problems are not as dominant as the 737 MAX, but there is news. The 787 Dreamliner, which is also built in North Charleston, South Carolina, is going to be slowing down. Today, citing the global trade environment, translation the trade war with China, Boeing is planning to slow down production of the 787 to 12 planes each month by late next year from 14. Deliveries to airlines of another big jet, the brand new 777X, now won't start until 2021. It was also hoped the plane would be making its first test flight by the end of this year, but that's already been rolled back to early 2020. Boeing CEO Dennis Mullenberg on the call this morning. We also continue to monitor and inform the U.S.-China trade discussions, and we remain hopeful that airplanes will ultimately be part of the trade solution. Now, a little positive news out of Everett tonight with another uh, round of planes to build as Air Force tankers. The 767 production line expected to go up by another half airplane a month to three a month. But through all of this, nobody is talking about layoffs. Live in Everett, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.